on the shoe mine frequencies uh behind the scenes talking about it you know we've worked together well, um, utilizing this mainly project. the Schumann resonance I've always thought being around eight Hertz corresponds to the alpha wavelength, uh, wavelength of the brain which is waking meditation super learning state and I've always thought that meditation is kind of a, a resonance or tuning in with an earth frequency around seven or eight cycles per second which is the Schumann resonance it's that feeling of expansiveness and well-being mm -hmm. in the meditative state. Well, that's interesting because that's kind of the when it, it gets introduced into this piece, it, it generates this vibe mm -hmm. like that. So, yeah. So you can give us a, your name on camera. Um, Greg Olson. I play in Sons of Another Planet with Roy Wooten and Wayne Kirby, and teach uh, music at the University of North Carolina in Asheville. You got your what? PhD. Right? PhD from Duke University uh, in education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. You have any comments on the periodic table? I introduced the uh, periodic table also into this piece. Do well, the periodic table. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, as frequencies. Any as, thoughts? As frequency. It's uh, yes. it's uh, it's interesting. Much more. Um, esoteric, I think, and intellectual for me uh, mm -hmm. because of the shortness and the very high, high nature of the frequencies. Mm -hmm. Certainly it serves as a template in the music that we do, playing the uh, periodic table of elements, creating that into a tuning system that uh, creates a connection in my imagination and my intellect with the elements all around us and, and all of the building blocks of nature, mm -hmm. uh, but certainly uh, more of a an abstract connection than the Schumann resonance, which to me is very real, mm -hmm. as a resonant frequency corresponding with the brain waves that we generate in the brain. Yeah. Cool. Cool. What, uh, uh, cool. <laughs>